All right, guys, this is gonna be a really exciting episode because we're gonna talk about hair jigs and plastics and why you would wanna use one or the other. And number one, the biggest secret is I always keep a split shot in my pocket so I can take it on and off of that line to adjust for the depth of all the fish I may be catching today. You're gonna see it, it's always in my pocket. I'm changing it back and forth. Hair jigs and plastics, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, guys, this is gonna be a great episode. A lot of people ask about why you use a hair jig versus a plastic. And I'm gonna tell you that throughout this entire episode of Catching Fish, we're gonna be using three pound fish and hair jigs. We've got a nice little assortment of them right here. Check them out. These are all now available in single packages, which is really, really cool. Um, individually, you can buy them one at a time or you can buy a combo pack like that. We're gonna be fishing with a 10 footer. We've got water temperature roughly around 72 degrees and that's how our day is sh shaping up. Now I talked about briefly about the split shot deal. Big deal, right? Cause we have to get down to the fish. We don't know if we're gonna be fishing 20 feet down or if we're gonna be fishing six feet down. We wanna be able to adjust on the fly. I do that. My personal method is a split shot. I keep one in my pocket at all times, even during guide trips, a split shot. I can take it on and off with my teeth or with a pair of pliers. I can adjust immediately for the fish. And during this time frame, post spawn primarily, right? Um, these fish can be anywhere. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I love post spawn though, because they are on the pile. So we've got fish everywhere. You can see one on the screen right there. And that fish is 14 foot down. So I of course want a split shot on that. So. Got him. <laughs> and that. Now this isn't a really great color for my home lake. I'll be honest with you, but that's a great starting fish for three pound fishing right now. So th this is a solid, solid eater, uh, beautiful fish. We're gonna let them go. And one of the, so let me tell you a little bit more about, I guess the hair jigs in general. A lot of people, let's talk about colors even. Natural colors on my home lake work best. This is called the carrot right here. Um, even though it caught that fish, it's probably not my favorite on my home lake. But when I go to a lake like Rim Lake or I go to any of these muddy water lakes, it absolutely is number one. If I've got a muddy water lake, a carrot on a hair jig is awesome. I like to keep primarily my hair jigs pretty small. I don't go any higher than a 1 16th. This is a 1 16th right here. Um, and then I have a 1 32nd in the boat as well. We're gonna fish with that as well. It comes with a number four hook. This is actually a number two hook and uh, sickle hooks. A thin wired hook is really important. Now, why would I use a hair jig over a plastic? It really comes down to the reaction of the fish. And are they taking the plastic? I almost always start with a plastic, um, your standard minnow style. And we're gonna fish with that today, um, but I'm watching how they're reacting to the bait. And a lot of times, well, I'll just say this. Well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's catch another fish and I'll talk a little bit more about the differences and the subtle differences between a hair jig and a plastic. Oh yeah, he's coming. He's in the strike position. If you're watching him right now, he's actually gotten his body in the, the striking position right there and I'll lower it down slower to him. And there he goes, he hits it. Good fish, too. Good fish. Right there. Look at that, guys. Come on now, that doesn't get any better. Let's talk about plastics and hair jigs. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, this is awesome stuff, okay? Hair jig, gumdrop. This is a 1 16th ounce. You can buy these in singles, check them out. What are we talking about in regards to water displacement? I've been asked that quite a bit, so why not talk about it? It's all about how the water is displaced around your jig. So you got a hair jig that absorbs the water, right? Whereas a plastic will reflect that water. It'll bounce off that water. And so I like to think that kind of a, a plastic is a little bit more disruptive because it's bouncing the water off. Water can't be absorbed into this guy right here, this this particular plastic, just a standard plastic. Whereas a hair jig, the water's coming in and out of it, flowing in and out of it, it's a lot smoother. 
um, that type of deal. Now, why would I use a hair jig over a plastic? And I'm just telling you, to me personally, I'm watching how that fish is reacting to the bait. Are they coming up and they jumping on it? So whatever that reason is, sometimes they're very they're reacting very much to a plastic, and some days they're acting extremely aggressive towards the hair jig. Could be size, could be water displacement, could be a lot of things, colors, etc. But that's what's making me decide between one or the other. Now, 95% of the time, just to show you a different color, this is the hair, the the uh, white lightning silver lining I'm sorry silver lining 90% um, of the time I'm gonna start with this guy right here a plastic okay uh, why is because it it's the it's the gold standard I think right so um, I uh, that's how I start this is orange green and black and uh, we're gonna do that right now actually and we're gonna see if there's a difference in these fish now those fish weren't reacting completely aggressively on that hair jig, to be quite honest with you. So right now I've got a e-frog with a 30 second ounce jig head. Again, I'll add a, a split shot to that. And I always keep one in my pocket. I think it's huge. Guide trips, I have almost everybody in the boat, if they're, if they're into the split shots, they have one in their pocket as well so that we can take them on, take them off, adjust to the depth of the fish. So, all right, let's do this. And all right now, again, these fish are roaming around quite a bit um, because post spawn they they're going back to where they where they want to be for the summer. So they're moving around just like they would in in uh, pre spawn. And so here here's a guy right here. He's he's trying to make himself very available for us. There we go. All right, get in the strike. Yeah, he's gonna get in the strike position. Yes, he is. We're gonna push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. So he's in the strike position right now. Right here, you can check him out. He knows we're there. He is gonna strike it probably, and I'm gonna keep pushing it down to him. And here he comes, see? He's evaluating, and I try not to give them too much time to evaluate before they make the right decision. Here he comes. There he is, see, told you. And there he is. A long process for that guy right there, but he was evaluating, 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 and he made the wrong decision. So this time of year, really important is that you probably can catch them on anything but i can assure you there is a time and a place for one or the other a plastic or a hair jig and i think we've all experienced that so having an assortment of them in your boat is uh in my opinion my, it's, it's a big deal um i probably on on structure in muddy water i prefer to fish with hair jigs why is that? Because I don't have to worry about the plastic. Why, what's the advantage? The plastic always slipping down, right? It bothers us. It's, it's kind of like every time you gotta sometimes push it back up. Now, I do think there's a huge advantage of these wire bait keepers. Okay, that's three pound fishing. Some other jigs, hey, some other jigs have them as well, but I think there's a huge advantage having a wire bait keeper, um, especially on the backside, um, because then you're not stabbing yourself every time you come in there to take your plastic and adjust it or take it off, et cetera, or take the fish out off the hook. But there it is. And that guy obviously got that fish. That was the first drop with it too. Now, would I say that's better than the hair jig? Eh, maybe not right now. They're probably about the same, but I can assure you again that that is not at all always the case. Um, sometimes the size and again, that water, you know, displacement is a big factor. But right now these fish are fun home. today. I am gonna go ahead and take this carrot off, this hair jig, and I'm going to put the silver lining on. This is probably my favorite clear body of water, slightly stained water color. Um, again, you can buy these singles. You can just literally try each one of these and they have, we have what's called a combo pack and get all four of them for like $9. It's very inexpensive, it's ridiculous. It's new hair jigs we're trying out and uh, I'm loving them. 
Um, it's a thinner wired hook and uh, definitely stealthier. I like it. Nice hair jigs. So this is silver lining right here. And that was the loop knot if you saw it. And this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite for sure. And I've got visibility on, on my home lake of about four feet. And I think you could go just about anywhere right now and find roaming fish like these. It doesn't really matter where you're at. Um, this is a good fish here. Obviously you're always looking for the bigger fish, but right now we're catching good eater size fish. This is gonna be good warming me up for a, about three guide trips this week. Four actually. All right, so this is a really good drop right on him. All right, so he turned, there he is. And there we got him. And this is the big fish of the day so far look at that that is a big fish on that little hair jig right there we're gonna take a picture with that guy Oh my gosh, they're just everywhere. <sighs> These fish are, it doesn't, folks, I just moved down the, the lake about eh, half a mile. And <laughs> I mean, if you just look at the monitor, all these fish are just, they're, they're moving around. Uh, I mean, they're just, they're everywhere. And this is great scoping activity right now. I think the key right now is if I can get them to see the bait, like identify that it's down there, they're gonna bite it. And that's a good situation obviously to be in. Um, so like I said, it probably doesn't matter. Like this guy just now sees it and he's rearing up to hit it. Boom, and just hit it. Another slab. Nothing special going on here other than scoping fish, post-spawn fish, no eggs, beautiful, beautiful slabs though. And they're just, they're roaming from their spawning areas now looking for food probably number one and number two trying to find their home space so you could probably throw either one but again i prefer you know i go back to i prefer a hair jig and why is that what did we say we said because i don't have to jack with the plastic at all the hair jig is going to last forever I mean, you can you can fish multiple days with a hair jig all right, because I love these hair jigs so much, we're going to switch out the silver lining one. Okay, and we're going to go to the gumdrop. This is probably my all-time favorite right here. Um, the reason why I like it is because it has an incredible, um, it has a big contrast in color of head and body. And just go through the, um, the loop knot again. All right, we're going to go like this. Swing it around and right back. This is the 1 16th ounce, by the way. The 1 32nd ounce, again, these can be purchased individually, which is awesome in combo packs. Combo pack, you get one of every one. Let me show you something. We need a fish with this too. Now, when the bait gets really, or the bike gets, when the bike gets really, really hard, this is a 132nd ounce right there. Check that out, okay? Now look at the comparison to the 116th, okay? This is a number four hook. This is a number two hook, okay? More times than not, I'm gonna be fishing with the 116th ounce hair jig right here or the 132nd. 
these two right here this that's your options in these single pack jigs so we're going to fish with that smaller one here shortly but the gumdrop is on fire almost every lake that i fish especially mine and i absolutely love it Here he comes. Oh. Now this is the small bait, guys. I'm talking soft because I got people around me. Oh man, did he inhale that. That ain't good for him. That's the 132nd with a number four hook. Getting her done. Oh, you gotta love it, guys. Post spawn. Doesn't matter where you're going. We're in shallow water here. We've changed it up quite a bit just to see if we can see a difference. I can tell you there's less fish in the shallower water. First cast right here. Come on, baby. Lower it to him. Boom, and there he is. <laughs> All right, so even a darker crappie. So, you know, these fish are definitely in a, in a stage of uh, combination of spawning and post-spawn, but majority of these fish are without a doubt post-spawn. Um, there's always that one fish that just obviously spawns late. <laughs> good image coming up here, folks. This is a really good image. Hopefully you guys got a shot of that. Anytime you see that, you know these things are going to explode off of it. Now, I took the split shot off. See, look at that. It just enters the water and they're on it. Um, ooh, boy, look how active they are. They are all up and down now. All up on that pile. Sometimes I'll do a little jig action, get a little extra... Oh, he hit it too. Look at these guys peel off of it. <laughs> anyway, what a great day. Let me talk to you for a second. I'm out. Water displacement it absorbs it, does not give off the vibrations that water typically would give off of a plastic. Very easy to think about. It's going to repel off that. It's gonna give a lot more vibration, a lot more movement, smaller baits, just a different profile. I think that's key. I love these 116 ounce number two hook hair jigs. They're freaking awesome. Try them out at threepoundfishing.com, including the plastics. Um, anytime you wanna add a little something extra, Original fish formula, crappie formulation, without a doubt. Post spawn, don't know if you necessarily need it because the bite's super aggressive, but check those out as well. And uh, anyway, we're gonna have a great summer. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a great one. Peace out.